What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and well, I'm back. <laughs> um, I don't know what else to say. I think I've already said it in the intro video right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, guys, after a, I want to say a long month, maybe three weeks. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe like two and a half weeks, probably. I don't know. But yes, after two, three, three weeks uh, off, I am finally back here on YouTube and with our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Yes, guys, it's me. It's me. It's GLD. And, uh, well, ah, Jesus. Where to go? Where to go right here? Like I, I, like, I started watching my walkthroughs in the last few, well, the last few episodes of the walkthroughs just because, well, shoot. Good old Draven needed to update himself. He needed to know exactly where he was and what he was doing. And, well, I just realized something. Yes, I saved the world from uh, lots of flooding and all that stuff. Yeah. Lots and lots of flooding. So, here we are in Sutopolis City. Now, here is something very, very special after you've completed the whole, uh, what was it called? Uh, the whole Kyogre slash Groudon uh, situation. And that is that you have freed up some newer Pokemon in the world of Hoenn right here and uh well as uh, you know I, I would love to show you guys right now but i'm i, I kind of want to get down to it right here getting our eighth badge because you know it has been a month and uh yeah we'll get to the talking later and all that stuff so let's see so topless city the leader is wallace the love the lover of water Okay, so here we are guys in Sutopolis City Gym and the only man that's ever believed in us is gonna be right there waiting for us And he's gonna be like yo, how's it going champ to be Draven? Sutopolis Gym Leader Wallace is a master water type Pokemon as you make your way to wall uh, Wallace The icy floor will hamper your progress Just between you and me walk on each floor panel each once and uh, that's the trick be careful and go for it Okay, so he wasn't kidding because look at this. Everything is made of ice. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you got to remember everything. And, yeah, that's what happens when when you mess it up. It, it just, you, you go through. And you will be meeting a trainer here and there. And uh, I didn't even realize this, but you can actually... Huh. I thought there was a slide right here. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to be battling... A boatload of beautiful trainers and all that stuff because well you know Wallace he he loves beauty he's very flamboyant I don't know he he, he just loves people and all that stuff so here we go guys taking on uh, what is a hunt tail this is the first time I'm actually seeing this yeah and as you guys can see talks of Batman has the giga drain and he's about to feel it right here holy crud okay anywho guys uh, I know many of you guys have been wondering what what would happen in the last month. Um, I, why I have been a wall and all that crud. It's a lot of things, guys. Um, I, I really don't like to spill out my business out here. I already put my community uh, posts out there, and you know it is what it is right there. Um, yeah, it was a health issue, major health issues, I should say. Quite a few major health issues that you know had occurred in a span of several weeks I would have to say if you guys remember uh, let's see I think it was the beginning of September yeah it was the beginning of September where you know I got the 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 so-called flu the fluish the kind of fluish however you guys like to believe it um, yeah caught caught that and that it, it wasn't that bad it just incapacitated me for like a, a good week or so just because you know I never really had it and all that stuff. And then uh, after recovering, it, it just uh, it got worse. Not not the flu or anything like that. It was more of like uh, health issues after after the fact and whatnot. Um, like as you guys can hear it in my voice, I'm not I'm not too comfortable with talking about it because well, shoot, it was a very scary uh, a very scary situation. Uh, me being 33 years old and all that crud, yes, you know, you you still think that you're uh, you're invincible in some type of way, and uh, that was me for quite some time until huh, till recently, you know, being intubated and all that stuff. That that is no funny business. Um, I don't know what else I could say about that uh, except. It messed up my schedule. It messed up, it messed up like my whole life, basically. Uh, nobody likes to. Nobody likes their life being 
screwed up or anything like that or you know roadblocks in the, in the way but that's life that is life and uh well life kind of hit me pretty hard in many ways in one guys um let's see what else can i talk about let's see like I said, guys, I really don't like talking about it much because it was a very scary situation. Uh, as of right now, yes, I am okay. I'm Everything's fine. Everything's in working order. Um, doctor told me that, you know, I got to take it easy on certain things. Kind of sucks because, you know, I'm a very, very uh, active person. And telling me to just take it easy is, uh, is kind of, it's kind of odd. It really is because I've never really taken it easy. And, you know, like I said previously, uh, you know, uh, me, me having this whole invincibility complex and all that stuff, yeah, that, that's what happens when you get, when you get older, you start, you start seeing some like cracks in the shield and whatnot. And, uh, right there, it, it starts ma like, it, it really starts to open your eyes just a little in a sense that like, you got to take care of yourself a little bit better than what you have been doing. Um... But like I said, guys, I'm 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 fine. Everything's good. I am uh, back on YouTube. I am back on everything else. Uh, coaching, gym, the whole thing. I just got to take it easy. Kind of sucks, guys. It really does suck talking about that. You know, taking it easy. <laughs> um, I know, I know, I know that you guys may may want to know a little bit more, but that's just me. I, I like to. There's a lot of things that I like to keep private. This is this is one of them. I mean, I, I, I'm not. I'm not looking for any kind of sorrow or, or pity or anything like that. It's just, you know, it, it happened. It literally happened. Uh, it scared the crud out of me. It scared the crud out of my family. Um, and, uh, you know, thankfully, you know, the Pokemon God Arceus, for those who don't believe in uh, other deities and all that stuff, uh, you know, spared my life, helped me, you know, all that stuff. So I'm very thankful. Very, very thankful. And, I, in, in fact, I'm going to be... Uh, I'd be very thankful when November, like, yeah, the, when uh, when Thanksgiving hits, because you know, it's the little things, guys. Uh, you know, it, during that during the period where I was just you know in the in and out of the hospital, it really really um, put everything in perspective. Because I've had friends who passed away before, uh, very young and all that crud, and you know, for 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 this kind of stuff to happen to me, especially in a span of like uh, two months and whatnot, it just uh, you know. It put everything in perspective because yes, yes, life is precious. You don't know when you're gonna go, but the other part too is you gotta, you gotta, yeah, you gotta be thankful for for just the life that you have right now because you know, good old Draven right here has gone through quite a few things, quite a few things prior to this whole health scare, and then for the health for the health scare to help happen. Yeah, it's just like, you know, it's the icing on the cake. And, uh, you know, with, with with what happened and all that stuff with the health scare, it, it really made me, like, it, it it's real, like, I'm really thankful that I'm still here. That I'm, I still get to talk to people, the people I love. Uh, get to talk to you guys right here. Make more videos and all that stuff, which is great because, you know, I started this, this, this channel about what? I'm looking at it 13 years ago. Holy crud. This, uh, this channel is literally a teenager. Huh. But yeah, like, 13 years ago, I started this whole channel. Didn't, didn't think that I was going to be, you know, in it for 13 years. I, you know, <laughs> I, I didn't think it at, at all. And, uh, you know, during my, like, you know, I know I'm, I'm getting a little off topic here and there. But, like, during, uh, you know, when I was reading the comments... Uh, yeah, I, I, I've noticed that there was one YouTuber out there that remembered me from my Draven XE 711 days, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> that right there was, like, I didn't know that it would be, that I would be in this for that long, and for this, like, for this person right here to remember me from way back when, and, uh, I can't remember the name of the the, the the YouTuber and all that stuff, but I just want to say a shout out or something like that. <laughs> Anywho, what I'm going to do first, guys, is I'm going to heal up my Pokemon, and then we'll get back to the whole chatting thing. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back, and uh, I remember the name. I actually looked it up. Uh, shout out to Purple Gojo. It was the last episode where you commented... Uh, 
talking about how you had vivid memories of watching my old Pokemon walk, uh, Platinum walkthrough, and I'm and I'm saying this right now, guys, for those who are new. Back when I was Draven XC711, it took me like about four years to finish both Soul Silver and Pokemon Platinum. For this individual right here to remember all of this uh, ten years ago, that's beyond me. That's why you know I'm I'm just saying like you know shout out to Purple Gojo for remembering all this and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really happy that you're that you came back and uh, started watching my walkthroughs again and all that. I mean, shoot, like I said, I don't like I never really uh, I never really expected to stay th stay in this uh, this whole thing for that long. And uh, <laughs> it's great to see that an old YouTuber, an old uh, you know, an old fan is uh, back uh, right here onto my channel. And, uh, holy crud, my battery is low, so let me put on the recharger, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back here, guys, and, uh, well, one thing about this game that I love the most is the puzzles that they actually put on here. And, uh, the good thing about, you know, having technology now is that you can actually look for, uh, what was it called, uh, the way to get out of here, and that's exactly what I'm doing, is, um, I'm actually... I'm actually looking at my phone while I'm doing this in order to get through this whole puzzle right here because holy crud. Seriously, Nintendo. And uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We go right here, here, and here, and there you go. Look at that. Bam. So going up to the third level they make it a little trickier for you guys because well there are two trainers and uh well usually it's it's at this point right here where i'm just like i'm, I'm, I'm trying to like i'm trying to keep my my stuff uh, straight right here so let's go right ahead and go straight to the corner right here all the way up here and we're going right here this is usually the most stressful thing in the in the world right here so let's see Go right here. And the messed up part about this, guys, is that you, you, you have to choose... Let's see. I'm going to go right here. And battle this trainer. Now, you can battle both trainers, but you have to make sure to stay in the same path in order to... You know, the, you have to get back into the same path, not crack into the, the next one right here. The next stone tablet and all that, or ice tablet. So, here we go. Take it on in the zoo roll, or zoomer roll. And, well, let's see... If I remember correctly, a Zoomerol is a, a fairy type. And that didn't work because it, it is a fairy type. Holy crud. So here comes a superpower. That right there is not going to work. And uh, yes, you're losing attack and defense. So right here, I'm going to give you a big old bird sandwich. I, I was going to say knuckle sandwich and all that stuff. So here we go. Flying chicken right here for the win. And there you go. There you go. And... Uh, well, Tommy JDF is uh, getting a little points taken away right there. And Guy the Fierce Knight grows to level 55. Marissa has been defeated. Okay, so what I was talking about is you have to get back into this path right here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And, well, thankfully I got my phone right here. And what you need to do now is you need to go straight down here. Take a few steps down right up here and let's see let's see let's see let's see oh yes you have to go right here and you have to leave one space open so go right here and go all the way towards the trainer make sure to leave that gap open just in case and i messed up holy buckets okay so yeah <laughs> Ain't that uh, fantastic? Okay, it's not fantastic at all, but I, I, I did mess up. I mean, I probably should have... Uh, yeah, I probably should have just not battled her at all or anything like that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be switching out to Gaia the Fierce Knight. And, well, let's see what else can Gaia... Or what Gaia can do right here. So, here we go, Gaia the Fierce Knight. How's it going? And here comes a Flail Attack. That is not cool. So, let's go straight for a Magical Leaf. And oh, look at this! Look at that! Oh yes, Love Disc defeated, and uh, 
Well, let's see. Anything else we got? Nothing. And she is about to come out with a Seedra. You know what? Let's go ahead and keep uh, Guy of the Fierce Knight. And, uh, well, let's see what it can do right here. So let's see. Seedra, if you guys remember Pokemon Yellow, my initial Pokemon Yellow, or my newest Pokemon Yellow walk, because I played, God knows that I played it so many times. Uh, we named it Torpedo and then eventually moved it over to Pokemon Crystal, where it became a Kingdra. Yeah, buddy. And yes, my Pokemon are growing levels like crazy. Okay, so I messed up. There's no way that I can uh, I can rectify this. So I'll be right back with you guys in the very spot that we need to actually step up. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so we're back here, guys. And well, as you guys can see, we're back. Um, there was one thing that I forgot to mention. Okay, if you have completed the last two puzzles, they they will stay cracked and they will be unbreakable if you want to come in and return to a place where you yeah you didn't you didn't complete like this one so what we need to do now is we need to complete this portion and as you guys can see bam look at that good old draven has not lost the touch right here look at that okay bam and here we are the flamboyant one yes okay so let's see we got to switch up our pokemon because yeah no um Tommy JDF, he's gonna get messed up. So, bring it on. Okay, so here he is. He's like, allow me to informally introduce myself. I am Wallace, the gym leader of the Sutopla City Gym. There's something about you, a difference in your demeanor. I think I sensed that in you. What up inside the Cave of Origin and what you did there? Our upcoming, our upcoming battle will make that all clear. Now. Show me. Show me the power that you wield with your Pokemon. And I, in return, shall present you. With all the performance of illusions in the water. Why are you posing? Why, 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 why the ass? Okay, never mind. Bite me and my Pokemon. Okay, so here we go. We're going to be taking on Wallace, the 8th gym leader of the Hoenn region. And, well, here we go. Look at that. Coming out with a love disc. Remember, this guy is a pure water type trainer. He does have one ace in the pocket right there where that is, uh, you know, a... I think it's a ground type Pokemon right here. So, just make sure to bring a grass type if you need it. And look at that. Love disc defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see. What else do we got? We got Wish Cash. That is the Pokemon that we were talking. So, what we need to do now is... I'm going to go with Olay right here because, well... I kind of want to try something. I know that Olay is not fast, but there's a big butt right there. That is that um, uh, we're going to try a Grass Knot right here. Now, if that doesn't work, then yeah, we're, we're messed up. But here we go, Grass Knot, faster than Whiskash, and Whiskash is not liking it. So let's go right ahead and do it one more time with the Grass Knot. But here comes a Hyper Potion. And that right there is bam whiskash getting the same treatment i think he's gonna go for another hyper potion no not another hyper potion he's not gonna waste it on him so there you go whiskash has been defeated all righty okay all right look at that look at that and tommy jdf without doing anything he's getting himself a new move and that is flare blitz now flare blitz right here is a very powerful move but there is a i think there is a recoil yeah so, as you guys can see, the user cloaks himself in fire and charges the target. This also damages the user quite a lot. This may leave a target with a burn. Now, I already have a recoil move. I am not going to use another one. Uh, you know, using Tommy J JDF, like, his moveset. Yeah, using Tommy JDF's moveset is dangerous enough as it is. And, well, here he's about to come out with Milotic. I got my own, but I'm going to go with Guy of the Fierce Knight right here. I don't know why. Oh, probably because I, yeah, I wasn't even thinking or anything like that. So, here we go, Gaia. How's it going? And here is Melodic. And, well, screw it. Let's go with uh, Dazzling Gleam. And this one will almost destroy Melodic. And here comes a hy or Hydro Pump. That's going give to give us a little bit of a damage. But here we go again. Just another one. Look at that. Dazzling Gleam for the win. And, uh, well, let's see. Thunderball grows to level 60. 
And here comes a Celio. So this is a Pokemon right here that I can I can I can go up against when it comes to a fire type Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and continue the onslaught right here with Tommy JDF going with a sky uppercut. Why? Because well Celio. Yes. Celio himself is a an ice type Pokemon. And well, let's see, he's coming out with a Sea King. So let's go straight back to Thunderball. And uh, well, let's see, what can I say about Thunderball? Never used a Voltorb slash Electrode. I'm very happy about that. Super happy. And uh, I think we picked the best one out of it because we, we, we did. It just like it was a rare kind of a. Uh, it was a rare kind uh, of Electrode or Voltorb. So. It's pretty cool right there. And Leviathan, without doing anything. Level 55, and there it is, guys. Throwing out the peace sign. We beat the flamboyant one. I realize now your authenticity and magnificence as a Pokemon trainer. I find, my, find much joy in having to meet you and your Pokemon. You have proven yourself worthy in the ra with the rain badge. Accept it. Having the badge ensure, or assures you full obedience of all your Pokemon to every command you make. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves our eighth badge after a full month without doing anything. And, well, let's see. And so you never forget the battle we shared. Here we go. He's giving us the HMO5 Waterfall. The only gym leader here that will actually give us an HM rather than a TM. And, well, the HM I have given you contains Waterfall. It allows you to smash into the opponent with the force required to climb a waterfall itself. Yes, it's a mighty move. And yet it also has a certain elegance and can sometimes cause a potion to flinch. Now, with the power of the rain badge, and you will be able to use the HM move waterfall to scale walls of cascading water. Many paths are open to, to you now. One path, would you take the Pokemon League? It is, it is the goal of a trainer in, in Hoenn to aspire to reach after obtaining eight badges. If that is the path that you choose, then you must find your way to the island said that it's, uh, it's most remote to uh, Hoenn. Uh-oh. And, yeah, my, my battery was, like, flashing. <laughs> okay, I gotta, I gotta keep this battery. Like, see, the island said it's most remote is Evergrande. And, holy crud, okay, hold on just a sec, guys. Okay, so, let's see. But it is a different path that you seek. You would rather pursue the Pokemon and complete the Pokedex. The rumors that reached me on the wind whispered that Professor Birch in Little Root has created a more powerful Pokédex. Visit him, obtain this new technology, and I have a little doubt or I have a little doubt that you'll encounter more diverse Pokémon than ever before. I will hope to I will hope that the bright future waits for you whatever path you choose. Okay. So, as, you know, he has stated, more Pokémon have appeared here in Hoenn and well, right now I'm kind of undecided of what I want to do because, well, you know, it's my first episode back. And, you know, I really wish I could just say that, like, you know, the path is easy, but no, like, I, I usually have things pre planned. So, give me about, like, a few hours, guys. I'm actually, I'm actually recording this at, like, 11 o'clock at night. So give me a few hours just to think it over, and then from there, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Anywho, guys, I just want to say thank you again for all the well wishes. Thank you guys for being patient as always, and uh, you know, I'm I'm not going anywhere. I'm I'm not going anywhere. Everything is good, healthy. I want to say I'm I'm fully healthy, but I am like we still got some things to work out. But I will be here, and I will stay here until you know until it's no more other than that guys thank you guys again for helping me uh you know cheer up and all that stuff i will see you guys in the next episode as well we figure out where we go next see you guys